I've actually just spotted an Odgel myself just down here, so let's have a look. First appearances, this is what I first saw, just this bit here. And now that I've picked it up, it actually looks like it's the completely wrong type of rock. However, we've spotted another rock over this way. We have a nodule here with lots of crushed semi-salatum ammonites on its surface. See there, there's quite a few partial specimens. Nothing that would actually be able to split open. It just looks like they're all partial pieces of ammonite that have washed against each other. Still a cool find, but one we'll leave on the beach. You can see here cross sections of quite a few different ammonites and a belemnite fossil. We have a nodule right along the edge. So let's dig this one out first. There we are. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> so we've got a crushed ammonite. And then we also have the nodule that we first spotted just here. It's a nice size and shape to contain the fossil. So let's split it open. Ah, okay, so inside this nodule, there's actually a belemnite phragma cone. So there's not an ammonite in here, but you can start to see some of the shell from a belemnite phragma cone. We've got some compressed ammonites, nothing 3D just yet, but the signs of fossils. Got another partial ammonite, just sticking out the edge here. So we'll keep that to one side. Let's have a look. Oh, and I think we've been lucky with this one, Aaron. You can see the ammonite all the way around the edge, and it's got a nice cap on both sides. So it's actually been nodularized, this one. So this is definitely one that we'll be able to take home. I wouldn't try to split one like this on the beach because it's so thin, you won't be able to get any traction with the chisel. So on this occasion, we'll take this one home. Right down by the edge of the water, you can see here where there's been an Elegantissurus ammonite, which is now washed away. And next to it, we have this much larger pyritic nodule. Let's break it out. There we are. And inside, We have a couple of small Elegantissurus ammonites. And one that's a little bit bigger, that's been preserved in lots of calcite. And that's what gives it this lovely shine. Got another ammonite fossil down here, but it's actually a double nodule. So there's one ammonite protruding the edge just there. And this one, which is only half of the ammonite now, you can see that there, there has been a complete one there at some point. Now we've got a nice crack all the way around the nodule. Oh, nice. Hasn't split too bad at all. It's actually split open quite well. You can see there, because of the mineralization, some of the detail towards the center has been lost. But apart from that, it's actually a pretty nice specimen. Aaron's going to continue searching in this area. Meanwhile, I'm going to go over to the landslide and see what's over there. Actually a really lovely ammonite impression up here. See, it's completely crushed, but there's so much detail on it. It's unbelievable that it's actually managed to survive this long. I'll leave that one for someone else to collect. I haven't been searching down here very long, and already I've spotted a really nice cannonball nodule. Right, I think it's pretty much out. There we are. Oh, <laughs> and on this occasion, it's been empty. Oh, <laughs> almost missed this one. I think it's a nodule. Let's have a little look. You can see an ammonite just protruding the edge there. It's definitely one that's worth splitting open. I'll keep hold of that one, and then me and Aaron will split it open together. Oh, this looks interesting. There's a nodule here with lots of ammonites on the surface. See here, there's been what I presume is going to be a Harpoterus ammonite, which has been exposed. Another one here. Lots of smaller ammonites. It's on a really, really thin piece of rock. So I imagine what you see is what you get with this piece. It's unfortunate that pieces like this are rode away and they can't be saved, but that's what makes finding nice pieces so much more special. Some lovely calcite chambers on that one. Same with this one here. Some lovely calcite.
This large pyritic rock contains a really cool Jurassic specimen. It's very difficult to tell at the moment, but what we have inside is a large Hildoceros ammonite. It's absolutely covered in tough pyrite. It's as though we have to remove metal from the fossil itself. Slowly but surely we can see the outer shape of this specimen becoming more apparent. Preparing a specimen such as this is particularly tricky due to all of the iron pyrite. Our dad has done an absolutely exceptional job on preparing this specimen and here's the finished result. Given that we started with a big lump of essentially metal, to say that we've fully exposed a three-dimensional Jurassic Hildoceros ammonite from it is absolutely surreal. There we are, it's split right through the centre. And it looks like it's just this nodule that we saw. Some small pieces of shell here, but nothing that you can really make out. And as well as that, I actually just spotted a belemnite. You can see it's in two sections. So we've got this belemnite here, and if you look a little bit further along, there's another bivalve shell, like what we found earlier. So let's start with the shell. Give it a little wiggle. Awesome. Looks like it's pretty much complete. It's another one we'll be able to aerobrade at home and reveal the true beauty of the shell. And now for the belemnite. Looks like that first piece has already been released. Just leave that bit to the side. Just a little bit of shale to peel off there. I mean, to get it up in two pieces, pretty good going, to be honest. They usually break into a lot more pieces than this. See where the natural fracture line was. But well, fortunately, not too much of the belemnite itself was washed away. So we'll actually be able to glue this specimen back together. It's actually a pretty nice size. It's a lovely example, isn't it? Sure is. It's nice to be able to see the calcification on the inside as well. Very nice, really pleased with that. We've spotted three perfectly round nodules which could contain fossils, so let's break them out. I'm just going to put my safety glasses on. There's actually four in this one. There's two here which we didn't see, and there's another two. You can see the shale here is really soft. It just breaks away from the nodules really easily. Look at that. Whoa, hopefully there are fossils inside. Look at that. It's incredible. Wow, it's going to tip this on its side to make it a little bit easier to break out. I actually see there's been a oh. small nodule lodged in there as well. There we are. There's got to be an ammonite in at least one of these. There's so many. I'm just going to take them down to somewhere a little bit easier to split them. Just before we split open those nodules, we've actually spotted this huge belemnite. You can see here it's been fully exposed. As well as that, there's a crushed impression of an ammonite. And also a bivalve shell. What a cool snapshot into what the sea floor would have looked like all those years ago. Oh, there has actually been a really small elegant tissue ammonite here. Let's check further within the nodule. So this one, apart from that small ammonite, has been completely empty. Let's try another one. Another empty one. Let's try this one. Oh, we've got a good split. Is there anything inside? It looks empty so far. I'll check this side again just to make sure. 
Yep, looks like it's empty. We've still got two more nodules to go. Another! Fingers crossed for the last one. It's been a clean split, but again, looks like it's empty. That's unbelievable. All of those nodules and not one had a fossil inside. It's just the way it goes sometimes, but it was worth checking. There's another nodule that we've spotted just down here. Who knows after all those other nodules we've just opened have been completely empty. I wonder if this is yet another. Uh, it doesn't look too convincing. That's disappointing, but that's just how it goes, isn't it? Well, we've, we've still got that big pile of nodules that you found while I was searching over here. Just before we open up the remaining nodules, take a look at this. This is a big slab of compressed fossil shells, which was spotted. It was quite difficult to spot at first, but once we got closer and had a look, we noticed this incredible, quite unbelievable pattern of Jurassic shell fossils. Look at the coloration on those. It's really unusual. I've never seen so many all in one place and so compressed. They're less than a millimetre thick. They're absolutely paper thin. It's nice that we can capture them on video before they end up ultimately getting destroyed by the sea in the coming tides. Especially with how rough the sea is at the moment, I don't think these fossils are going to last too much longer. But at least everyone at home can have a look at them here and appreciate them for what they were. Well, there's a nice nodule just in here. <laughs> What's inside this one? Ooh. Is it a vertebra fossil in there? Ah! Oh yeah, it looks like some sort <laughs> of fossilised bone. Not sure what exactly it is, but it's some sort of strange fossil bone. Well, I definitely don't want to split that anymore with the hammer. No, we'll take that home and get yeah. it prepared. Wow! Looks a bit like a vertebra, but could be some sort of rarer specimen. I'm not entirely sure, but we'll have to get that prepared and update you in one of our upcoming fossil hunting videos of what this fossil turned out to be so definitely stay tuned for that well, we've certainly got plenty to be splitting here haven't we surely one of these will contain something <laughs> oh no MD. a tiny one that's something at least not quite what we're after but it's something isn't it yeah nothing but calcite in this one Another empty one. Another empty one. Another empty one. <laughs> Started to reveal. You can actually see there's a natural fracture starting to run through the ammonite here. So I think because we've exposed all of this, we know the ammonite's going to be inside there. So I think we're best off taking this one home. And last but not least, we've got one more nodule that we're going to excavate. Because of all the bad luck we've had so far in terms of the nodules we've just opened, we're going to give this last one a shot. There is a nodule here, fairly large. A little bit of shale to remove. So I'm going to get my safety glasses on. And let's hope that this is going to end all of our finds on a high today. Of course, we've had many nice finds already. managed to reveal the nodule completely but it's so thin that it's almost guaranteed to be empty let's open it just to be sure i think we'll have to leave that one there we can't really open it much more looks like we're out of luck for a really good ammonite find today we've had a few quite nice ammonite finds but of course the highlight was the mysterious bone we've just found and the cuttlefish so either way we've had some really awesome finds we've pretty much lost all of the light now but we've had a really good fossil hunt today it's time to head off but thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one